We need, we need someone to help with their car seats to carry them off. A family from Huntington Beach, California was removed from an oversold Delta flight when they refused to give up a seat they had purchased for their one-year-old child. Why are seats on airplanes always oversold? I don't get it. Haven't you guys been in this industry long enough? Like, learn to not oversell? This all seems very strange, like we're in some sort of weird airplane twilight zone. As you can see in this eight minute clip posted to YouTube, Brian and Brittany Shear protest with a Delta employee. The family explained they sent their 18 year old son ahead of the family so the teenager's seat could be used for one of the toddlers. Delta claimed the family is in violation of an FAA regulation because their teenage son isn't in the seat. Then an official threatens the family with jail time. Really? Do we really need to go there? Then they can, then they can remove me off the plane. Yeah, so yeah that's fine. Offense, and then you and your wife will be and your kids will be okay, that's, oh, okay. Uh, yeah. So my kid, wait, so my wife, oh, we're gonna be in jail and my kids are gonna be what? It's a federal offense if you don't abide by I bought that seat. So a child sitting in a car seat on a flight is a major FAA violation, except not. According to the FAA's website, on a page about flying with children, they say, the Federal Aviation Administration strongly urges you to secure your child in a child restraint system, or CRS, for the duration of your flight. The FAA also adds, your arms aren't capable of holding your child securely, especially during unexpected turbulence. So let me get this straight. Delta officials threaten this man with jail time for following FAA regulations just to sell the seat that they already sold. Listen, Delta and United and basically every airline, it's called a refund. Just do it and you might not be in this situation. Or as my grandmother tells me, treat others like you would want to be treated. Uberfax on Twitter points out that Delta broke its own promise. Last month, Delta said they'd offer up to $10,000 to passengers on overbooked flights, but that didn't seem to come up this time. And many were quick to side with Brian and his family, including Heather Staples, who said this. Wow, kudos to you for staying so calm. I would have lost my mind. Well, beyond that, I think we're all more sensitive to these things. We're living in a post-United Doctor time. I mean, the time pre-United Doctor was different. After that whole viral video with the doctor came out, it has us all looking at these situations differently. And also, that doctor got a buyout, so he's kind of like chilling now. So I think anyone who's treated like this, one, you should stand up for yourself, but two, I think we see what happens when you do. As of now, Delta has not made a statement about the incident. So how would you have reacted in this situation? Let us know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more of What's Trending.